All right, guys, so Gogeta Blue's leader skill and category have pretty much just been leaked. Now, not directly, but I think we have enough information to infer what they're going to be. Now, what you see here is DBZ Space, and this is a brand new category that was added to the database. Um, I'm sure it was found by data miners and whoever found it, whoever put it up there. Thank you guys so much. I don't know who to credit right now, but you guys always know that I like to give credit where credit is due. But anyways, this is a brand new category called Movie Heroes, which is very similar to Movie Bosses, except now we're talking about the heroes from those movies, right? Makes a lot of sense. And right now, the only leaders we have for it are these two new guys. The DBS Broly movie Goku, he's the AGL Goku, and the DBS Broly movie Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that is. Now, I don't know why Goku doesn't actually have a TUR form, I'm guessing maybe hasn't been found in the database yet, or maybe he just straight up does not have one, but I don't really know. Both of these are free to play by the way, these guys are going to be farmable from the upcoming Broly movie story event on JP, so they're completely free to play. Everybody will be able to get them. And this guy's leader skill is the movie hero category, energy or key plus one, HP attack defense plus 30%. Um, other information is not that important. So I guess you, got, you can read it yourself if you want to, but I'm not gonna go over it here. And uh, this is the Vegeta who does get a TUR form. He turns Vegeta blue. And I think that's a really cool art, by the way. I think it looks great. Like I, when I first saw it, I was like, those coats are kind of weird. Like I don't really get why Goku and Vegeta are wearing the, you know, I don't know, man. Like, it's just it's just not in character, right? But um, I've grown to like them more. But that's not the point. We're not here to talk about fashion. We're here to talk about these cards. And I gotta say, this, this Vegeta is actually quite good. So movie hero category, key plus two, HP attack defense plus 50%, which is very standard for these free-to-play category leaders, right? And his super attack is final flash. Um, one turn defense is increased, giving the ultra oversized damage to your opponent, which I believe is supreme damage and increased attack defense by 30% uh, for one turn. And his passive is actually quite solid for a free to play unit as well. Attack and defense plus 50%, and he also gets further plus three key, or okay, in addition, plus three key and 40% attack up when facing a theater version of boss or movie bosses category enemy so in theory if you're fighting something like a you know dbs broly or a turles or any character from the movie bosses category this guy can get up to 90 percent attack and 50 percent defense which is amazing for a free to play unit and of course he can also act as a uh, new movie heroes like new category leader if you need him but okay <laughs> the whole point is all that is to say this is definitely going to be Gogeta Blue's category, guys. I, there's no question in my mind that this is Gogeta Blue's category, and he's going to be a movie hero's leader, which I, I think a lot of people, including myself, were expecting, and it just made a lot of sense. So, yeah, it's been confirmed now. Okay, not 100% confirmed, 99% confirmed. Let's go with that, because I, just in case Bandai wants to be a dick and <laughs> change things up or, you know, do something crazy and not make Gogeta Blue the leader of this category, which would make no sense at all, but let's say it happens, then there's that 1% chance then that I'm wrong, right? But I'm 99% sure, guys, that this is going to be Gogeta Blue's category, and I'm guessing it's either going to be 150% to all stats, plus 3 key, HP attack defense plus 150%, or possibly 177% because of all the hype around him if he turns out to be an LR maybe I don't know but um, I'm gonna go with 150% for now but either way the percentages don't matter as much as just knowing the fact that this is his category and he is going to be the leader the Dokkan best leader for this category so talk about these two free to play leaders uh, let's just go down a little bit let's see what else we have here so we got all the Oh, a bunch of blue Gogeta, or uh, blue Gogeta, blue, blue Gokus and blue Vegetas. I'm so excited, guys. Can't even talk. Got some R's here, <laughs> of course. Uh, a couple of Trunkses. Got uh, Jocko, got <laughs> Master Roshi. So nothing too hype yet, but we do have this LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Another category for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Another card that I can't run on this category. <laughs> I mean, what I'm trying to say is another category for him that I won't be able to run him on because... I don't have him, and if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know, and you're gonna make fun of me, it's okay, I'm used to it by now. Um, these God Kus are all on there, and they're very solid as well, so, you know, that's that's a good thing for sure. 
all three family Kamehameha units, and they're all very good after the Extreme Z Awakening, so I'm happy to see them here. Who else is over here? Um, SSJ3 Angel Goku, solid. Ah, oh, and of course, LR Gogeta. LR Gogeta, how can I forget LR Gogeta? Um, and we got also got the, the two Saiyan Men, Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And that is pretty much all the... I mean, this Tapion's good too. He's a great tank, and he saves my ass a lot on Super Battle Road. Um, this Tapion's good too, one of my favorite. I, I kind of think of it as like a support unit as well, because he does change orbs. He also um, provides good tanking, good attack. Oh, I mean, I guess he's not so much a traditional support... You know what? Just forget what I said. Good units. <laughs> and what else? Um, we got this STR Gogeta, who will be amazing after this Extreme Z Awakening. Nothing announced yet, but I do expect it to come fairly soon. This Ink Gogeta is amazing too. Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> this Ink Gogeta is still a beast. Even though he's a little bit older now, a little bit older now, still easily clears 1.5, 2 million plus damage on a Fusions team. Um, oh, of course, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku is great as well. And this one on JP at least, because he doesn't have his Extreme Z Awakening on Global yet. But once he does get that, then he's going to be great on Global too. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, overall, I say the category is good, but not amazing. I think it's actually not... I might get a little bit of hate for this, but I feel like it's not as good right now as movie bosses. Now, I do expect them to add more units to the category. So, of course, Gogeta Blue is going to be a big boost. <laughs> Gogeta Blue is going to be a huge game changer for this category, of course. But I do expect them to add more stuff in the future as well. So, it can only get better. But right now, it's, it's a good category, but it's not going to be... At least, based on what I can see, comp competing with Universe uh, Sarai, no, uh, not Universe Sarai Saga, but Universe Sa Six Seven representatives. Man, <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. Um, or Super Saiyan Three, or Batara possibly, or Full Power. But it's still gonna be a very good category. That's all I gotta say. And the whole point of this video is just to say, like, this is Gogeta Blue's category, and we've got two new free-to-play units there so I want to go over that as well you can see the super tax on probably on YouTube now some someone probably posted it but um, it's not here so they're, they're not that exciting but they're free to play here so what can you expect but anyways whole point is Gogeta Blue's category movie heroes um, this is the category you guys saw the units let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it and also possibly what units you can or, or characters you can expect them to add to the category in the future maybe variations of units that or characters that already exist or maybe new characters that we haven't seen yet in the in the game. I can't think of one right now, but I'm sure you guys are, are able to because you guys are smarter than me. But that's it, guys. <laughs> that's all I want to say for this video. I was really excited. It's a fairly quick video, I think. Or maybe I just rambled so much that it was really long. I don't know. I don't know. But that's it. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.